I love my fire, but it just won't listen. I need help. That's why in this time of crisis... I'm on my way. My name is Kevin Cosmo, and I am the Fire Whisperer. Don't you have a flame that's out of control? Then I am your guy. Liz's problem is she's letting her fire walk all over her. She needs to assert her dominance. That's why I'm here. Let's take a look. Thank you for coming. Is that the fire right there? Did you let him on the couch normally? No, usually it's only allowed here. Or sometimes on the stove. But I just can't say no to it. That's your problem. You're being weak and letting the fighter control you, and not the other way around. Down! Get down! Off! Off! I try yelling and disciplining it, but nothing. Fighters can be like cats. They hate water. Back! Bad! Bad boy! Back! Get down! There you go. Good fire. Ow! No, no, you are spoiling it with kindling and oxygen. Don't! You have to show it who is the alpha. Assert your dominance, Liz. Don't be afraid. No! No! Backfire! Did you see what I did there? Oh, uh-huh. Okay, now it's protesting. It uh, wants attention, but just ignore it. Turn your back to it. It's starting to hurt. That's just what it wants. Ignore it. Okay, now turn around. Wow! Thank you, Cosmo. Now I can finally take my life back. Happy to be of help. So, what did we learn? That your fire won't respect you until you respect yourself. Take control. And now let's check in with Karen from our last episode for an update. Yep, still dead. Okay, we'll see you next week for another episode of The Fire Whisperer. boy. Nice tank. Thanks, dude. Hey, uh, what you doing there, man? 